this video is for anyone who is in their late 20s, their 30s, any age that considers you a non-traditional student. And a non-traditional student is just simply someone who's entering college, a post-secondary school while they're working full-time, while they're not fresh out of high school. And that's okay. If you're hesitant, if you're thinking, I'm, I'm getting older, I'm too old, just do it. Like, you're not getting any younger. And time goes by so fast before you know it. Two years, four years, it's done. Jasmine Chanel, thanks for tuning in to another YouTube video. If you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you know I post once a week and sometimes twice a week. I have content inside the house, outside the house, marriage, just got married, I'm sharing it all. I just want to give you the overall intake and what I learned and gained, what I didn't like about going to school as a non-traditional student. First of all, when you go to school at a later age, you get more financial aid. Since you're independently supporting yourself, it's a lot cheaper actually going to school in your later 20s, early 30s, or even 40s. I found that going back to school at a later age, for me, I was more focused. If I would have gone to college in 1920, early 20s, I would have been all about the sororities, parties. Going back to school at a later age, I was more focused. I would often conversate with students who were either 18, 19, or even 20, and a lot of times the answer was, I don't know what I want to do, I don't know what I want to be, I don't have any work experience, I'm just here as a cushion. And for me, I didn't have that response. You know, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I think that's the bonus of going back to school at a later age because you've had some time to figure it out, you've worked a couple jobs, you know what you like, what you don't like. You're able to connect with faculty and professors at a more mature level and they take you seriously and they're able to give you empathy and just about working full time and being a student in a college setting. I think a lot of my resources came from casual conversations with the staff and faculty and they would always like tell me what was going on scholarships were open and out there so I definitely recommend being open to your professors because sometimes it can just be frustrating but a lot of times it's really fun being around the younger generation. I took every opportunity outside the classroom like I knew I was there as a student and I wanted the full experience and there's so many free resources you know don't ever sit in a group and be afraid to ask the questions that will help you get through college and pay for college. Every time I was in a group setting, I would ask students, how are you paying for college? And I would always find out about resources like banking programs, saving programs, um, scholarships. I would find out a lot of information by opening my mouth and asking questions. Another bonus on being a non-traditional student is it opens a pool of scholarships that you can now get your hands on. There's a program out there called TRIO SS and it's a program that assists students in providing opportunities for academic development and there's so many resources in that building that's free printing which you'll need. They also provide scholarships, they provide study abroad programs, there's so many resources. It can be tough being around college students because of the conversations, you know, you're worried about your light bills and your renter's insurance and your car insurance and the students next to you are talking about, oh my goodness, my dad won't put money on my debit card. <sighs> there's like, you know, there's a huge gap. That could be frustrating because you feel like you don't relate to the people around you. But be patient. But the young generation is so equipped with technology. I found you could be annoyed with them. You could want to hang out with your old people, but they can teach you a lot. So be open to hearing what they're using to study and what programs, what website are out there that already have the answers to your packet. I mean, I'm not saying cheap, but these young generation students are so fast with getting the work done rather than doing the hard work. So take advantage of that. I didn't know about Control F before college. I know that's that sounds people are the younger generation is like what but it's the younger generation that told me if I had to make the choice again I would definitely go to school at a later age it's cheaper you take more advantages of the resources you have you're less distracted and you're more focused
just some of the reasons why going to school at a later age just isn't that bad.